Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. I'm with my best friend from New York City. We've been friends since junior high, no, even way back then. This is Ricardo, everybody. Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm also dubbed as his security guard and I'm his New York manager. He's my New York manager. He, he, he chases, when I'm a big bear, he chases everybody away. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. They chase towards him and Chris likes it. Yeah, they, they, they do chase towards me. But one thing I want to show you is that we're in Co-op City. This is my old neighborhood, everybody. See where it said right here? Co-op City Boulevard. And this is what it is right there. That's the power plant right over there. And that's Section 4, I think. Or section, yeah, I think that's section four. section 4. Okay, so that's Section 5 right there. That is Section 5. Now, there was, what, what was that story, Ricardo, about, I don't know if it's still true that section one, section, a lot of, a lot of people from the sections on this side did not like section five. Like teenage gang stuff. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was like a gang stuff. Section five, it was an area that you did not want to go to. I wasn't cool enough to be part of the gang, so I was never in threat. And also there was the valley. Yes. Yeah, the valley. Over the bridge, over uh, New England Thruway, that area. Yeah. The highway, that area where you could walk the bridge. So everybody, not only Co-op City had these huge majestic buildings that we used to live in, but they had these private townhouses. Now these were three stories. So your first floor, um, I forgot what's down there, but you also have a, you have a second floor, which was your main living room. Third floor was all the bedrooms up there and you had your own balconies, which is really neat. And these were very- May I correct you for two seconds? Yeah. I, I may be wrong, but you see these two doors right here that connected to this one part? Yeah. I'm wondering, are these two apartments connected to one? So maybe this one has the bottom floor and that one has the top floor? That one has the top floor. Or is it one side all in one? Oh, no, no, no. You two, know what? It's two and two, right? That one has the bottom floor. This yes. one has the bottom floor and these two have the top floors. So this one's leading up to the stairs? Yes. So these are right here, two, two families. Uh-huh two families so a total of four families in this structure if yeah. i'm wrong i'm wrong but i think we, we might be wrong but we might be totally wrong but this looks this is definitely different so they call them town these are the townhouses they're much different from the townhouses everywhere you guys are at especially yes. in florida 29b and the side is 21 29 these yeah and they have their own little gardens right here there used to be a gardener where, um, where the building that I was in building five and Ricardo was in building two, right? Was you? May I interject yeah. a personal antidote? Yeah. This is Chris's video. For all you fans of Chris saying, why is this man talking? Sorry, I'll be real quick. One thing I like about Chris, Chris has a different perspective on Corp City than I have. And I like listening to Chris's perspective because it seems like Chris forged different relationships with people. So Chris is always saying, hey, I remember the gardener and things like that or the super. So I kind of always appreciate Chris's perspective on Co-op City because all I have is my own. His perspective is a tad different. Continue. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to interrupt your video. Well, but what, what building were you in? I was in building two. Building two. Okay, so I was in building five and he was in building two. Building two was right across the street from building five. And um, we had this gardener, his name is Alan. Alan Lizettes, I think that's his last name. And he manicured all these, he put all the, all the flowers in. And me being a bad boy, I used to throw my homework off the 24th floor. And <laughs> he used to litter his garden. I did the same thing. You did the same thing? I think it's when you're kidding, you're living that high up. You just want to hear things fall yeah and you don't truly appreciate what you're doing i mean everything everything from the 24th floor went off the balcony now as adults we realize how incredibly dangerous that is oh yeah oh yeah get these trees over here oh my gosh chris and i just had a humongous meal so we're walking mad slow 
my meal is slowly digesting so i said chris i may have to sit down while you did this video i may be standing with him for a while no actually you know what sit in that chair all the way over there because i'm going to do a little bit of long video right there thank you for showing some sympathy for your senior friends <laughs> yeah we're, we're seniors now we used to be kids chris is very senior friendly for you subscribers over the age of 50. <laughs> I was, about to, I was about to make a joke that I realized I'm insulting your viewers. So, <laughs> sorry, folks. Make it a joke. You know what? This is the most he ever talked on video. <laughs> but look at this. This is the bi This is the green way, everybody. This is our bicycle. I'm gonna go sit down. Yeah. This is our bicycle way. That park is still there. I remember they just built that park, and that park's still right over there. My friend Marianne. Used to live at that. I think she. I don't know if she does. I just spoke to her. Like, well, I didn't spoke. I, I messaged her on Facebook. But um, used to live at that building right over there. So Marianne lived there. And this is Co-op City. Wow, I'm back at Co-op City. I can't believe it. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Ricardo's sitting down right over there. Now, if you were to tell me what buildings are which, um, if. Or I used to say, if you were to ask me which buildings are which, um, only thing I could say is that one is building six. Um, that's building five right over there. And that's building uh, four. And then building one, I think it's uh, over there. Um, the rest of the buildings, I really don't know which they are until I go close to them. They tell me what buildings they are but this is called the greenway yes this is the greenway everybody this is where we had what they called the fair we had a little bit of carnival rides we had vendors lined up everywhere everywhere around here and they had concerts out here i can't believe i'm here in club city look at this holy cow Wow. Um, over there, that is a very iconic high school right over there. That is actually called Truman High School, Harry S. Truman High School, and now it's a magnet school, everybody. Back then it was just a regular high school. Now it's a magnet school, but it's right. You hear it? I think they're having football practice. That's football practice right there. But you see this building all the way over there? We're gonna get close to it, but that's the building that I used to live at. And Ricardo lived on the other side. And um, our friend, Mary Brown, used to live right here. By the way, what happened is that our friends turned into families. So say for instance, um, my mother, Hazel Nicholson, her friends like Mary Brown, and sorry to name you Mary, but you're 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 right at that building right over there. <laughs> and uh, Danielle was another friend. Um, also, we had um, gosh, we had Juanita. Juanita was another uh, my mom's friends. All the female friends becomes mothers. So my mom, of course, was our primary mother, and then Mary Brown was our second mother. Juanita was our third mother. Um, you know, it, it went down. So if we were to got it, if we were to get in trouble, they could whip our ass. They could take out the belt and whip our asses, and then tell our mothers about it, and they will whip our asses too. So that's 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 one thing about it. Um, and believe me, I used to get in trouble a lot, so I got my ass whipped by all of my mothers. <laughs> and uh, look at him, he's right there. Gotcha. <laughs> No, it's okay. Stay, stay right there. Stay right there. You're... Can they hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. Well, we're going to be walking past Chris's building, my building. I got my energy. Me and Chris are the same age, but he's in a lot better shape than me because you're going to see me sitting down a lot. <laughs> we're going to be walking around Club City. All you subscribers to Rick's channel. Uh, Rick's. I Rick's? <laughs> now I'm Rick. I'm Rick. <laughs> All right, how about this? I'll be Rick and you'll be Chris. No, <laughs> it's Chris Nicholson's channel, and I've been out of line. I, I confuse you with another celebrity. That's okay. <laughs> I, I know celebrity named Rick. I forgot which one I'm... <laughs> anyway, we're going to... Rick Otero. 
<laughs> we're gonna be definitely be walking around. Yeah. We're gonna have a good time. This is this is phenomenal. So this is coming on your YouTube channel? Yeah, this is gonna All be right. on my YouTube. It's okay. gonna be on many different videos though, but YouTube. I, look how beautiful this is. I could I could frolic like like I could frolic like if it's uh, the the sound of music. <laughs> it's a beautiful day today. This is beautiful. I, I tell you this, I just left Florida. I just left Florida. I can't believe he's right there. Look at him. He's pretty cool, isn't he? Look at look how right right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's right right there. Uh, so yeah, I just left Florida and it was very stuffy and it was humid and I can't believe I'm here in Co-op City. And I wish my sister was here because it's it's kind of weird being here without my mom and dad and my sister and my brother Darren. Um so Darren, I'm mentioning you too. But yeah, there's Ricardo. And as as he as he said again, we didn't look like this. I was I was very bone skinny and I ran around all over the place screaming and everything like that. I had big big bushy hair. By the way, this is what I look like everybody. And Ricardo was was different. He's being polite, I was fat. He yeah, he was he he was ch he was chunky, not fat. Yeah, let's <laughs> use this politically correct term. We don't want to sh fat shame myself from 40 years ago. Let's not fat shame my 40 year old self. <laughs> but uh, I was overweight. I I, I think uh, me and Chris are two older guys now. Yeah. We're both we both have diabetes, <laughs> and the way we eat, you wouldn't think we we had it, but we do. But we, <laughs> we had the buffet of Chinese buffet, very expensive. Chris was so nice to treat me. I appreciate it. Then the the, the wait staff was being weird. And my rude New York self would be like, Chris just paid a bill. Yeah, he he said that. He said that. He said Chris just paid a bill. I'm like, <laughs> fine. <laughs> but the thing is, it's sort of like, but Chris being the polite person he is, I realized Chris handled the situation a lot better than I did. <laughs> also, Chris was paying the bill, so if he wanted to socialize, I pay the bill. I pay the bill. Yeah, if he wants to socialize with a bunch of rude waiters, he has a right to. Damn it. <laughs> Oh boy, but we're gonna, we're gonna feel this later on because soon we have to go to the bat. Mom, I'm just kidding. No, probably not yet. <laughs> they allow dogs access. here. What? There's a dog here. Wow, that's cool. I that's a new thing because they didn't allow dogs. They know when we were living here, they did not allow any dogs here. No dogs were allowed in Co-op City. That person may not live here. They yeah. may still have the same rules, rules about the apartments because it was big dogs. Dogs in general. Yeah. If you had a dog, you're getting a letter. Yeah. So that person may not live here. Yeah, that, that's weird because I mean, we were allowed to have cats, birds, or whatever, and then, but no dogs were allowed in this whole... Con I mean, Co-op City is huge. Mind you, they may ease the rules on little dogs or they might have eased yeah. the rules completely. Yeah. But I, I'm curious if that person lives here because that dog is kind of big. I'm curious. How many buildings is Co-op City? <laughs> 30 something, right? You want to count them? Uh, I'll look it up on it. I think they're like 30, 30 something buildings. Right, I was you, you look, it up. look at that. There's another dog the right there. There's another dog. They might have eased the rules. They might, yeah, definitely. Where's the geese? I remember last time I was here, those geese. This place is absolutely beautiful. It's like freaking Pleasantville. It may even not be the season for the yeah. geese. Yeah. But there's a season where they lay all their babies. It's quite beautiful. This is like Pleasantville. Look at this place. It's beautiful. This is, I mean, this this parts of Florida that's beautiful, but this is immaculate. I would live here again. I would definitely live. Well, how about you? Would you live here again? After I won the lottery, it's real expensive here, but yeah. If we decide to move back and we got a three bedroom, I think they go up to like three. They don't have a four bedroom here, but three bedroom, two baths. Uh, Ricardo's gonna live with us. Okay. Apparently Chris won the lottery and he didn't tell me. That's why he's paying the bill for the Chinese restaurant, which I appreciate. I didn't know he won the lottery. I don't play lotto. <laughs> it's but just he, dumb luck. Chris has become rich apparently. <laughs> oh, come so on. So if I knew this, we would have gone to BBQ's. But hey, I enjoyed the meal. <laughs> now everybody's going to think I'm rich. I'm not rich, everybody. I'm, I'm not. Please don't, don't ask me for any money. I'm not rich. <laughs> If you need your Chinese food bill paid, Chris Nicholson will pay for it. All right, it's time for a walk. It's time for free egg rolls. <laughs> Don't say that too loudly. <laughs> you pay for your own duck sauce. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Just want to show you guys, like, check this out. Just getting close to these buildings again. All right, so this, 
is section one. I guess this is section two? Kind of, kind of. We're still in the middle ground. We're like in the middle of everything. Right. What's this one? Four. Yeah. Section five is all the way over there. I guess, what is that one? Three? That's four. That's four. This area is like three. This is like three over this here. This area is four right here. Three, two in the middle, and one is all the way in the back. Oh, okay. So we're on the way to section one because this is where Ricardo and let's myself walk around went. the school and we could walk the route home yeah. we used to walk when we were kids. We're gonna walk we're gonna walk the same route home that when we were kids. And guess what everybody? When I was teased and everything like that, um Ricardo was kinda like a bully back then. And he never bullied me, but he walk me home thank you for putting that out there <laughs> mind you i was also bullied myself and, he was also bullied and also i've gone through some um personal changes and i am a, i'm a reformed bully now <laughs> I, I i preach uh peace and love he's phenomenal i'm trying to i'm trying to practice peace and love in my own life first to treat myself peace and love so i could whoa i'm turning into inspirational stuff <laughs> it's okay <laughs> i don't know what type of video you have but i don't think people come for video they come to see you in costumes and acting crazy yeah yeah i'm gonna be a bear you know my gig was canceled everybody i lost money so i'm not gonna say how much money i lost but i lost money but look at this look at this this is this well this is the walk this is the walkway that we're gonna actually walk right now this is building six one of them's seven and the other one's eight, I guess. And that's Truman High School right over there. And over there is the Mustangs, the Truman Mustang uh, team. And so they're having football practice. This school has an auditorium that is huge, has a planetarium, has a science museum, has everything. Even a huge olympic size pool, two of them. I think, how, how many feet did it go to? Like 12 feet, 12, 11 feet? Probably, no, probably 18 feet. It was, it was, it was a lot. All right, so I'm gonna cut the cameras here, but I just wanted to show you we're walking, we're retracing our footsteps when he used to walk me home. <laughs> right over there is the school me and Chris used to go to. Well, it's hidden, but you can't see it. It's all the way over there, but we're gonna pass by it soon. You got the camera. Right there is the school we used to walk home. Someone's calling me. It's a very important phone for Virginia. Oh. I'm ignoring it. Oh. I'm a very important person and I got my contacts in Virginia. Folks, I'm with Chris right now. <laughs> National security, we'll leave it alone. But these used to be rocks we used to climb as kids. It was the 80s, so they didn't really care about our safety. So there was no fencing. Yeah. Apparently people don't want their kids to fall and break their necks. This we, generation. We had so much time. I mean, so much fun times climbing these rocks. And these rocks seemed a lot of big, lot bigger when we were kids. They were a lot bigger. They were like mountains when we were kids. And, and now we could climb this easily, but we used to climb those things. The kids still climb it? I think they do, right? Of course they do, but you know, that's why they pull this fencing. Um, do you want to walk towards the school and do the walk? Yeah. Well, let's walk back over. Okay. Let's do um, Truman. Let's do um, how we used to get off, get out in 181. Okay. If my memory serves me right. So everybody, we're, I mean, on, on it, obviously, um, Ricardo and I, we met long, long time ago at PS 178. Oops, watch the bike. PS 178 was the uh, elementary school, but this was the middle school. They didn't call this middle school. They call it junior high. Junior high, that was <laughs> middle school. Uh, yeah, now it's middle school. <laughs> Now it's middle school. They got five schools in one. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what that was going on. Now, this is I, a whole cluster of schools. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, there's those of you who are familiar with New York charter schools, a lot of the schools, they start making multiple schools in one building. I don't think they're doing that here, but I'm going by guesswork. Yeah. But you notice I'll speak with great authority. I'm faking it because I could be, I could really don't know what I'm talking about. But I speak with great um confidence because this is chris nicholson's channel and we speak with confidence because <laughs> i'm not going to disgrace your channel right now with your millions and millions of viewers oh it's okay well guess what everybody now you get to learn about my best friend ricardo otero and then you're going to ask chris why are you giving so much airtime to this person who is he correct who am i i don't know <laughs> Who I went to school with. Oh, by the way, let's go in. Let's go in here real quick. I can't wait to see the comments. They'd be like, "Oh, this 
never changed. Except for the, we didn't have hoops. No, we didn't have hoops. We didn't have hoops, everybody. We used to come out here. This was like a spill out area after after uh, like recess and everything. This is IS-181. Show me. Yeah, this is, this is IS-81, everybody. IS-181. And this is unbelievable, but we didn't have hoops. There was no hoops out here. And we used to come out here when we was a kid and just basically play just play and there was nothing recess, it was recess period. yeah re recess and everything like that we had uh, oh we had big gymnasiums in there but this is pablo casals and these are the doors now <laughs> chris is a musician and this is where chris played music because we used to have the music program it was named that pablo casals a very famous spanish cellist who later moved to puerto rico yeah and uh they named the school after us and they gave the kids a good education on who pablo casals was and we had an excellent teacher called Mr. Klein. If you were serious about playing instruments, you would learn an instrument. Yeah. As a child, I was only serious about watching wrestling and eating a lot of food. So I didn't pay attention, but it was a great program and we were really blessed. Too yeah. bad I didn't appreciate it at the time, but we were really blessed with the type of education we had in the 80s. I don't know how the education system is right now, but I, I could speak for Chris, we were blessed. We, we were, had some no, really good No, teachers. we were... We were blessed. We had some really good teachers. And then first, first we all were kind of in co uh, competition, but we all became like a family. And even though we were in a, it, like say for instance, oh, okay. Chris, here's the classrooms we were in. Yeah, I, that that was Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Fitzpatrick's classroom right there. I remember no, 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 her. No, 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 no. You're confusing. I PS one one seventy eight. PS 178 right Yeah, PS 178 Miss, right Miss French, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> totally taking over Chris's channel. I so apologize. It's okay. It's not okay. Chris is a star. Don't worry. <laughs> but um, it's like going to Beyonce concert and her roadies doing the songs. But <laughs> <laughs> he's confusing IS 181. Miss, Miss Fitzpatrick was um, IS 181. Okay. A little correction. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. No. The, well, these people are dead. Yeah. Well, um, we, uh, well I would not say that. So, some people, some of, some of them might be still living. But, um, Christmas. and that's, that's my dad's building. Um, one of these buildings belonged to us. One of these. Yeah, one of these. Remember Mrs. Oza? Yes. She was in one of these, one of these, um, classrooms. I asked one of these. No, 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 that, no, 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 I, I asked one of these. What's 78? No, not, not, Ms. not. Ms. Oza was here? Yeah, Miss Oza was oh. here. Oh! Yeah, Miss Oza was here. She was. Oh! Miss Lariate was, was uh, in one of these classrooms. Okay, we just got off school. Yeah. Imagine two, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Imagine two nine-year-olds. One is grossly underweight and he's really into music and he won't cut his hair, that's Chris. <laughs> one is grossly overweight and he also needs to cut his hair. So we're both kids who really need haircuts and we're getting off school. I'm going home to watch G.I. Joe and Overeat. And Chris, I have no idea what he do, but it involves a piano. Look at this, IS-181, Pablo Casal School. Now we're we're going to take the road. Do you remember Joe's truck? Where they sold Oh yeah, Joe's. Oh my gosh. Truck. It was a truck that sold ice cream, potato chips, sodas, and it was all under 3 bucks. Do so you could have loose change and you could still walk away yeah. from the candy. There's Truman High School right over there. That's, That's where Lisa, look at that. Truman High School. Don't worry, we're going to go in front of it. One of these, you know, just a little time. We could take a trip back. Yeah, we'll take a trip back. That's PS 178 right over there. That's where I we're going to take a trip back everybody. This is my dad's, well, this was my Aunt Bernice's building. And it, after that became, Aunt Bernice's place became my dad's place. You want to walk up the stairs and show people how it's going to... Yeah, yeah. Because we PS can still 178. do the walk. We can still do the walk. <laughs> PS 178. <laughs> and sadly to say, this is where my dad actually um, collapsed. And was found in his apartment. This is also where he lived and... Uh, he created a family, so. Yeah, no, no, no. He lived at building five, this is building four. Correction, I'm just trying to keep it positive for the people at home. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. We're, yeah, we'll keep it positive. I'm totally hijacking your video, by the way. It's okay. I apologize. So we're gonna go up to our, this is our elementary school, everybody. Check this out. These stairs, we had so much fun. We used to slide right down the, um, the banisters. Chris did, I was too fat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you, you were a kid. Didn't these seem like the biggest stairs in the world? Yeah. Yeah, look at this. This is this is our elementary school. This is a playground right here, but this was our playground. This was our playground, yeah. This that, was this, our playground. that was our playground. And it did not even look like that. Now, now look at this. 
Just look, look, look how, look how down it was. Unbelievable. <laughs> now, I didn't go to kindergarten here, but there's a kindergarten here. I went to a kindergarten someplace else, so I started first grade here. So when I started first grade, everyone knew each other because they came from kindergarten. This used to have, um, you know, play stuff or whatever. Now it's an empty barren ground. Yeah, they used to have play stuff. They removed it, and the play stuff here are now more family friendly because back then it was dangerous. It made out of concrete and wood. Yeah, yeah. We had we had these um, we had these really weird play things around here. And this is um, this is PS one seventy eight. Here's the, the the classroom. Yeah. I think the offices is right here. Yeah. This might be the office. Now let me. Uh, this is what this is it. I'm gonna test Ricardo right now. Take off my glasses for this. No, by the way, we used to have bashy heads. <laughs> then we uh, discovered big, scissors. Big bashy head, like <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, we didn't have flat tops or anything like that. Our hair was messy and bashy, both of us. <laughs> he honestly, we. Ricardo kind of looked like Bruno back then. <laughs> and that's our fa f friendly garbage cut. But yeah, this was not here. All right, we hear you. Shut up. <laughs> and, um, okay, so I'm going to test Ricardo right now. Who was the principal at PS178 at our time? I knew he had a beard and it was, it was cut like this. And it was white, and he had white hair, mm -hmm. and I forgot, I know, I remember Mr. Just, who was the dean, but I don't remember, I know how he looked no, like, No, Mr. I don't Just was not the dean here, it was 178. Okay, um... I mean, IS-181. Who's the principal? Mr. Bregman. Okay. I, I remember how he looked. Yeah. Mr. Bregman. Now, do who... You, do you want to do the walk home? Yeah, yeah, Let, let's go up this way a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Oh, and also, let's, let's go to Truman. Again, point out that this wasn't the way it used to be. No, yeah, th yeah, this this was not the way how we did the walk home. We're, just, we're still going to do that. We're just going to go to Truman real quick. Is it closed on the other side? No, it's open. People walk. Wow. I've been in black myself. This is unbelievable. Actually, that was Miss Larry Yates' class back then. Yeah. This 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 classroom right here. I don't know if she's a teacher, but <laughs> that right. was 40 years ago. That was 40 years ago, everybody. That was Miss That was Miss Larry H classroom right there, and then Miss Shalava was right over here, and Miss Williams was right over here. <laughs> you have better memory than I do. And all three of them had pianos in their room, because I remember I played every one of them. <laughs> so look at this. PS 178, Selman. Wakeman School. I can't believe I'm right in front of the damn thing. <laughs> Look at this, I'm right in front this of it. This is where we used to get released. Yeah, yeah, Look we got released right here. Look at the benches. They're still there, we still there. Here. Yeah. And everybody, this is the majestic Harry S. Truman High School. Named after our president. Yeah. A long time ago, but when he was president, we weren't born yet. Now, these green things were not here. So, so those are canopies of construction that never ended. Yeah, never, never so ended. So the construction ended, but they kept the canopies for reasons we don't know. And now, for your enjoyment, Ricardo's gonna ride that bike over there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> you gonna video take me when I go to the emergency room? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, let's go front. So Lisa, this is where you went to high school. And after I do this, I'm actually going to call you. <laughs> but this is this is Harry S. Truman right over here. And our good NYPD. He's a tourist because New Yorkers don't call him good anything. <laughs> when we when we were in Central Park in that event, you were like real friendly to the cops. <laughs> and those cops were like so appreciative because the only people friendly with them, the people don't live here. <laughs> and there it is. That's 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 Harry S. Truman. Wow, it's open. That's Harry S. Truman High School right there. But this, it didn't look like this. It didn't look with, with all this stuff here. You go to the last time I was here? Yeah. I just dropped out and I took my GED and I was afraid I was getting in trouble because I still had the old textbooks. Uh -huh. So I called and said, can I bring back my old textbooks? And I went in there and said, you know, I'm an old student here. And she said, old? And I'm like, well, I was a former student. Cause she kind of looked at it. I was 19 years old. She said to me my books. So I handed over my books and that was the last time I was in here. Wow. Handing over my text because I dropped out and then I got my, then four years later I got my GED and I wanted to make sure this was 1990, 
1996, I got my GED. Uh -huh. So it was 1996. Wow. And I dropped out in 93, so... Three, 92 I dropped out. And look at this, that, that sta I don't know what that statue meant. Do you, do you realize what that statue meant? No. We used to watch so many concerts and everything right over here. At the Pietarium as and well. If you want, you can stay here. I'm going to take a quick peek real quick. Good luck with that. <laughs> I know I'm under video surveillance, but this is, this is what it looked like back then. Wow. Unbelievable. And the auditorium is over there. All right. So now we're going to take the walk home, everybody. So I'm going to cut from here. So this is the walk that me and Ricardo used to do. Um, my memory's fuzzy. Regardless of what school we would walk to, I remember us walking this route because it would walk directly to our building. Also, it didn't take us directly home because perhaps we enjoyed the freedom. Yeah. In between school and getting home, you had that freedom because I think like me and Chris, we had our parents who worked and our parents trust us to go home by ourselves. So they trust us with the house key. Called Lashki kids. That's what they were called in the eighties. Oh, I didn't know that. Lashki. We were Lashki kids. We Lashki came home kids. by ourselves because our parents gave us a key. Yeah. Those were Lashki kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we we were trustful kids. It wasn't a question of trustfulness. <laughs> our parents needed to work. Yeah, yeah. So whether we were trustful or not, we needed to go. We they needed to give us a key, and they needed to trust us that we were going home. And to live in this community, because this community is not cheap, everybody. This was an expensive community. To live in this community, our parents had to have really good jobs. Well, um, let me clarify. This is what I think, and it's not me just giving a different interpretation, but probably saying the same thing he's saying. It was the rise of the middle class in the 80s. Yeah. The rise of the middle class, and that was sort of like our parents. Look middle, at this. Middle class at um, the 80s is different from now. Middle class from today means being rich as hell. To, work to live here oh yeah or maybe be on some type of government su subsidies i think we went this way and but um this is where we walk this is the, that's the other rocks right the there. other rocks that's the other rocks and, and the other side was a slide that we used to ride the metal slide. yeah and and right right over there that was my friend ira berman's place he lived on the second floor this did not exist we had a bench right here yeah we had a bench we had benches right over here we didn't have any of this yeah that's Ira, if you're watching, this is your, this is your building. I'm at, I'm at your old place. I think you lived on the second floor with you and David and your mom and dad. And I used to come over and play keyboard. Well, you remember this? Did we, we walked this route, right? In my yeah. Old, this is my imagination. No, I think we walked this route, but we went, we either did that and also we did, we went, we went through this building right over here. Remember, we, it, sometimes we walked this building, we cut through the playground too, right? Yeah. 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 We put, we cut through the playground. You want to do that? You want to know why I want to walk this route? Because when you tell the memory of you telling me going to Florida, I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna pick the spot and I'm gonna ask you, was this the place you told me? But let's walk. Okay. <laughs> I have it on film anyway. <laughs> oh, one time, one time I got in trouble at that door right over there. They had this door open and there was an upright piano right there that somebody threw out and I started playing it. And I was playing it like crazy and I wheeled it right out here because I was going to take it and they, they, they yelled at me. Chris was a very troubled child, always getting into trouble. Well, now, there, was, Chris, there was a piano us, involved. Well, Chris, show us the place where you stabbed the man for a piano because he was a gangster. So, no, 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 no. I, 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 I didn't stab him. <laughs> Folks, it's called, it's, called, it's called humor. Chris yeah. never stabbed anyone. I don't want people calling NYPD on you of the crimes. I'm so misused of the 40s. Oh, boy. Now, this is shut down. Okay. Um, Do you want to go this way? No, no, we, you, we can walk. Okay. But this is under construction. But this is the route we used to walk. Yeah. But hey, it's, un but it's, it's all right. It's a super walk. Yeah, this is, I, I think we walk this way too. Yeah, we used to walk this route sometimes. So uh, this is how I'm remembering, I could be wrong. Wow. So that's why I appreciate your um, input. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, you see these pillars right here, everybody? Yeah. Co-op City, the building is basically, it's it's very, very strong rebar underneath it. But these are, this is a stilt building. The, this building is nothing but stilts. So say, if, or, or just say pillars. These are pillar buildings. You look at this. All of that, it's nothing but pillars. And the lobby still looks the same. Yeah. 
So right above us, you have 26 floors. I think 24 on this one. But you have 24 floors and it's, and it's nothing but pillars, but it's, and that's how all the buildings are. And then you had a big humongous basement on the bottom. Yeah, it's, um, laundry room. But you know what's weird, Ricardo? The basement didn't match up the layout of the building because remember you gone through this way and this way and it just didn't go straight it went turns or whatever and also the the, the laundry mats would extend so out of here so under here is the laundry mats yeah you can tell by the vents yeah so the laundry mat goes all the way to like all the way that Amazing that way yeah and mind you this was a swamp land this was all swamp land everybody now um chris shared a memories with me when he first told because chris eventually went to florida because his parents separated and he went to florida and Chris told the memory of him telling me that he's going to Florida. I don't remember that. But when Chris told the memory, he said I was very upset and I couldn't believe it. And now, when Chris recapped the memory, was it here or no? No, it was this building. Remember the basketball courts? Here? Yeah, yeah, check this out. The basketball courts, and you see, you see this, this um, area, when it snowed, we used to take cardboard or plastic and go yes. right down this way and goes right there. And you remember when it rained, it turned into a pool. And yeah, this, this place turned into a pool and we just, we just, we didn't care, we were kids, we just went swimming. That's what Chris did. My mother wouldn't allow me to, to, to get nowhere near this <laughs> dirty water. And I think Chris's mother didn't either. No, I think she Chris didn't, did that we, on his but own. We, we did it anyway. And that right over there, that's a community college. It used to be New Rochelle, the, the college of New Rochelle. Now, New Rochelle. It's a, now it's a regular school for kids. Yeah. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a satellite um, campus for the College of Nurse Shell, and now they have it in the shopping center that used to be the supermarket. And the silhouettes right over there, the red building, that's where you live. That's where I lived, and the beige building, that's where Ricardo lived. So we're gonna go over there right now. So check this out, uh, because of construction, they have all the scaffolding. Um, they're still trying to make Clark City a lot better as much as they can. But when I left, they didn't have this much scaffolding like how they did now. Now, mind you, when you were here before with your father's burial, uh -huh. the, whole, the whole place was under construction. Yeah. Now you only need to construction in concentrated places. So the fact that it's just concentrated here mm -hmm. speaks volumes of the improvement the management has made. Yeah. Because it was a lot worse before. And mind you, when we were kids, there was also construction as well. They just didn't do a good job of cutting this area off, but there's always been construction here. Wow, look, look at this. this. Look how old this is. This is, oh my gosh, it still looks the freaking same. The same color. It's the same color after all these freaking years. They still paint it. Wow. And this is a throwback from the 60s, you could tell. This is a throwback. From I the remember 60s. when the elevators got stuck and there was a door right over there. We used to have to go, climb, climb all the way up to the 24th floor. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it still looks the same. Let's go to the front area. So everybody, this is building five. So this is this was my building, and we're gonna go to Ricardo's building too. Now this particular area, they always did a good job keeping up the garden. Yeah, Alan, Alan kept up the garden. Uh, Alan moved to Mount Vernon, I think. And let's go in here real quick. This was the lobby, right here. And I'm gonna see if my mailbox is still there. Twenty-four F, twenty-four G, right there. That's that was my that was my old apartment right there. And guess what, everybody? That's the lot. Now they got this, YouTube. So the elevators has changed. And Ricardo, you remember there used to be a number system right up there? Yes, I remember that. From the both of them right up here. And that's where it leads to the basement. It's just really cool. 
So everybody, I had a dream that I cannot reach the 24th floor. Uh, this is gonna be... So you lived on the 24th? Yeah. Cool, this is gonna, I have to do this. I have to do this, everybody. Go to my old apartment. I, I won't be able to go in, but, and we're gonna be really care, the, the, the hallways echo. So we're gonna be really quiet about it. Remind you the, the, I've had dreams about using the elevator in Park City mm -hmm. and uh, the same dream that I can never reach my destination. Wow. Meaning if my destination was a simple straight up, yeah. either I would go in the wrong elevator that didn't hit my floor, or I would go to the elevator that spin around. Yeah. Or but yeah, the stairway, it was doubled and everything. And look at this, this is a brand new elevator, a brand new surface. That's color screen basically. Wow. Second office one. Very nice. Yeah. See, it gets, this is getting bouncy. This is weird. This is very weird. It's going up to the 24th floor. Oh my gosh. Everybody, that was my apartment right there. Yeah, that was my apartment right there. Wow. That's 24G. 24 right here. Now, Gail used to live over there. And um, I forgot what her name used to live right over here. And this man, I forgot what his name was. It still smells the same. And I never understood what that smell was. And this was um, the I forgot who lived there too, but it was it was a girl and two girls over there. Wow, I never thought that I'll be back here. Never. I I got something wrong with that vibe. It's it's gonna hit me later. Lisa, I've reached the twenty fourth floor. Oh, let's take a look at the stairway. See, I was not able to reach the 24th. The 24th floor was blocked in my dreams. So it was a big, huge portal right over here. And they still have this. Wow. And I remember many times going down. By 24. I never thought we, I never thought I would do that. I never I never thought that honestly I, I I feel I feel happy about it. I feel okay. I feel okay. I'll I'll I'll, I'll rem probably when I get back on the plane I'll I'll, rem I'll cry about it. But I, I feel okay. Well, you may not cry at all. Yeah. Because these are happy moments. I find you know it's weird. I've always wanted to go to the twenty fourth floor and I did. Of, of my of my building now it's Ricardo's turn we have to we have to go reminisce we're going to his building now now this garden right over here Alan Lizette used to take care of this garden like religiously this one and this one and you know it's weird one of my favorite places to play and Ricardo's gonna look at me like what <laughs> one of my favorite places to play and I'm gonna film him with this reaction was this place right here well i'm not really that surprised because <laughs> even though there was a playground right next to there it was a just, place you, where they used to keep the garbage yeah this this is where they keep the garbage and now this area straight ahead used to be like a sand lot yeah and that at the point i was a kid in the early 80s mm -hmm. the sand lot was already deteriorating it yeah. was the early 80s because it got constructed in the 60s so it's already deteriorating that little sand lot and it stood deteriorating until i left now it's just a park area where people sit down. It's no longer a sand area. Yeah. This right here. That's that. This used to be sand lots with, um, I guess you call that a uh, play rise, like a, a slide, a swing, and all that. It but had teepees. Yes. Remember the teepees and the, and the turtle kind of. And thing it was shape? made out of metal and wood. And when it was hot, the the metal would be burning hot. Yeah. And the wood was used to splinter. Now. 
and the sand used to get caught up with various things so at night if people would engage in illegal activities you will find things in the sand and we had tire swings tire swings very sandlot stuff and this is ricardo's building right here that's my building wow. i lived on 17f 17f i hope let's try let's try to see if we could go up there i hope we could if we if we can't then we can't but you know yeah this was not here those tables were not here that playground was not there <laughs> this portion when you open up to my building uh -huh. give me that because i'm going to post it on my facebook okay, okay. i'm going to tag my sister and my own yeah or at least my own let me know when you want me to go yeah go ahead uh my parents moved here in the late 80s from the south bronx my father was a postal worker my mother worked in the uh hotel industry in the Milford Plaza and 2B was our building not much change for the exception of the playgrounds back here but we had the benches which you took for granted and sometimes you sat after school or you know just my mother used to say after work sometimes you know mm. but we're gonna walk into the lobby which it hasn't changed yeah Wow, it's so vintage. I'm not ringing the doorbell. Yeah. 17, that was my doorbell. That's what it was right there. Yeah, and not much really changed. Oops. There you go, pass. And this is unbelievable. This is like a real throwback. Oh, wow. And this pretty much. Here was the, um, the, the mailboxes. And this is like almost kind of like the same kind of. Yeah. And things pretty much change. Let's walk in. Okay. Now, here's the back entrance when my dad used to take me to school. We used to go through here mm -hmm. and walk to the garage to get. Um, his car to drive me to school. Mind you, I just lived a block down, so there was no reason to drive me to school. That's why my parents eventually just allowed me to walk to school, because it was across the street. This cannot be opened. I'm gonna need a key lobby, but this leads to the basement where the laundry area was. Yeah, they, they, they blocked that off at a certain time. No, actually, yeah. this was, wasn't it? Because it goes down. Yeah. The laundry. Well, going up to the 17th floor, it goes without saying that the elevators did not look like this when I was young. No. But the dimensions and the size of it is pretty much the same. We're going to get off the 17th floor where I lived for, I'm going to guess maybe 15 years. I left here around 92 officially, 92, 93. And we moved here in the early 80s, so that might have been 10 years. How do you feel going back? I'm very reminiscent, but not really emotional. It's more of, these are happy memories. Yeah. I used to walk these stairs a lot. Straight ahead is my apartment building. Yeah. The compactor that hasn't changed at all. And I was here when they first introduced um, recycling. Yeah. Thank you, Mayor Couch. And that was my building straight ahead of three bedroom, two bath, two bath. Wow. We're just going to do a quick search because we don't want to know who that comes. Yeah. 17F, and it used to be the Otero family. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to give people a sort of like a, a view of where I lived. Yeah. So everybody, you see the sprinkler system right there? That was not there. And back then, our sprinkling system was a fire hydrant. But this right over here, this building is building one. And this building had my babysitter, and she used to live right there. Oh, actually on the other side. And her name is Rita. I forgot her last name. But we're going to go to the shopping center where all of us shopped at and this is this this was our life back then this was our life i mean 
Ricardo's in our, our life. We lived here and everything. And I think 1990, was it 1990 I moved? Probably. I think it was 1990. But I mean, most of it still looks the same. This right over here, this is Dry Zerloop. And on top there was a community center. Yeah. And I, I and they had a they had an auditorium. They had shows. They had talent shows. And uh, honestly, um, oh, there's a there's a bus that's gonna run us over. <laughs> but yeah, 177 laundromat. I didn't remember. Oh yeah, yeah. No, um, the cleaners. Penny, yeah, Penny, Mrs. Penny Laundry. But this is Dry Salute. The free pizza is all the way over there. Now this is what I've oh been. Oh my gosh, it still looks the same. The same signs and everything. There's, it still looks the same after years. The same picture. Holy shoot! Wow. This is, where this the, is the same. This is where the ice cream. Yeah, the ice cream store was here. Right here. What I was telling you, this was the deli. Like, wow. The deli was connected to the ice cream, and this was the supermarket. Um, I forgot what my friend, he was Chinese. He, he used to own that. And this? That was a video store. Video store. Now it's kind of like a, um, not really a community center because they charge people, but you know. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you a weird dream that I had here. Um, I had, I had a dream that I was walking down this way and right into like this store right over here or that store was an armed man putting people in that store and kept them hostage and I ran straight to my building. Wow, these are very vivid dreams. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what it is. I had vivid dreams around here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We also got to, uh, we have to go around and show show that little sculpture right there. This is where the diner was. Now I can check it out. That's where the diner was. Holy cow, that was, yeah. That's, that's where the Jewish diner was. We used to have some really awesome good conditions here. <laughs> And this is a community center. Maybe we could go in. Yeah, we could go in here. Yeah. And that store, we're gonna go around, but that's that's where Last Licks in the City was. Oh, they got automatic doors. I didn't know that. Everybody, this place still has that smell. You wanna take the elevator? Oh. <laughs> You're killing me with the freaking stairs, man. <laughs> Someone needs to get into shape. They're in their late forties. Well, Ricardo didn't realize, that, but he did realize I had a major scooter accident. I know, I know, but you know, <laughs> exercise won't kill you. <laughs> wow, they remodeled this whole place. Let's see if the bathroom's open. Yeah, this place has been really remodeled. This is where the auditorium is. Yeah, this this was another auditorium area right over here, and. But this has been remade. Yeah. And I had the talent shows here. When I was in the summer camp program with the boys and girls, mm -hmm. we had an office here where we used to meet up. Yeah. And there was another one in Section 5 in school. The one in Section 5 still has the sign. You went to summer camp here just like I did? Boys and girls. Yeah. That's when they, honestly, <laughs> that's when they thought I was a little girl, not a little boy. <laughs> you, you were a strange looking girl. I was a strange looking girl. girl. <laughs> so you, And it's more stuff this way. Everybody, this was one of the halls I had a talent show at a long time ago. It looks totally different. Totally, totally different. Well, that Chinese restaurant, I think that's new owners, but that's been here. Yeah, new Oh, this, yeah, that's, I remember this new place. Owners. New owners. That used to be the, that's a barbershop right there. It's the old white men on What was this? Various different businesses, clothing store, what have you. What biz the businesses that used to come to flow in and out. Now there's a new business coming in. No, this was a diner. It might have been a diner. Yeah, at one this point. was a rest this was a restaurant. At I one remember point, that was that was one of the then it was a clothing store, then it was this, then it was that. Yeah. And that was Sea Town. That was a regular store. This a uh, store. And look at this. Welcome to Cappy. Cappy's has been here since I was born. Various different owners. Various different owners. This always been a store right here. Yeah. And one thing, because the store went through various phases, when comic books were popular, causing 50 to 75 cents. Yeah. They used to advertise the copies here. 
advertised toys from anime cartoons. Yeah. We didn't call them anime cartoons back then. We just call them cartoons from Japan, like Robotech and whatever. Yeah. They used to sell the toys. They used to sell the toys out here. And guess what, everybody? It's still here. This is Cappy's. This is the old convenience store that we used to go to. Liquor store? Yeah. So, this. Um, you want a drink? I need a drink. I don't know what to get though. So everybody, this is Cappy's. This is liquor, we don't need liquor. No liquor. Ah, there we go. Coca-Cola, everybody. So everybody, we showed you our hometown where we used to live at, and I showed you my childhood friend, which is still my friend till this very day. I mean, he's basically like family to me. I love, I love him so much. This is Ricardo Otero. And um, you got anything to say, Ricardo? This was fun. I'm all talked out, but I had a great time. Yeah, yeah. So do me a favor, click like, subscribe, follow us. I think he has a channel. Or follow us. I he doesn't have a channel, but I he, watch wrestling. Yeah, so I'm never that interested. He's more popular than me right now. But <laughs> but um, do me a favor. Click like, subscribe, follow me on everything. Um, I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and um, I do the Williams page. And I'm in I'm in New York to tune some pianos, and I'm gonna be the giant teddy bear. And you're gonna see Ricardo controlling the town. Can I make a plug? Huh? Yeah, I, sure. Go ahead. I'll be on the corner of 165th and Audubon between Monday and Friday working. So if you need prescriptions, Viagra, free, not free stuff, you got to pay for it. Come by down. Come come down. Okay. Well, everybody. I just, I just gave the address <laughs> of my job. Don't come down. <laughs> come down and say hi to Ricardo. Yeah. Well, everybody, we'll see you. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. All right.